Good morning. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Well, good morning, Patrick and Bridget and little William. It was so nice to uh, see little William's picture on my camera with uh, that hat on. It just lit my wife's raid up and made her day. You just don't know what you did. Hey, I want to have some fun this morning. Um, and I'm sending this out to you guys. I hope that Patrick will, uh, if when you receive this, you will uh, forward it to your email. That way you can watch it on big screen. Um, uh, you may or may not be aware, but uh, a, friend, a friend of mine died here in the summer. And um, his ex-wife, who was, ended up being in charge of all his things, asked me if I wanted a guitar and a banjo. And uh, what I ended up with was uh, a banjo mandolin. Uh, which I gave to Reverend Kev. He's a mandolin player. And uh, then I ended up with uh, uh, this beautiful um, Yamaha guitar. Uh, look at it. It's a 1977 vintage, I believe, solid piece Yamaha. Uh, back in the day, this is a bigger one, Back because the cases were really tight. Back in the day, um, this is my theory about it, um, the Yamaha was trying to compete with Martin and Gibson and other bigger names. And they were trying to make a market for themselves. So they designed and made these beautiful top quality guitars back in the 70s to be just that, to be a competition for against Martin. It, it was awfully dirty when I got it. And it was springs were all like gone. And it was like they weren't on. They were just attached to the, the tuna, but they were just, you know, like flying everywhere in the case. The top had ripped right off the case, so there was a bunch of dust on it, a bunch of hair, and I had to take it down and have it worked out. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. Um, what a beauty. Um, the Lord does sure do bless us. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to show you is the other part of the inheritance, which really surprised me. And I was like really knocked right over with it. And that is this mandolin, this antique mandolin. I thought uh, just for fun I'd get it out. Plug into that little small amp over there. I'm going to take, turn you, see the amp, see there. You know, I plug it in here, and um, let me just take a few notes with you. Um, I like to play, I, I'm trying to learn to play some, uh, like, uh, Irish kind of reels, and Scottish kind of reels, and I'm also trying to learn to play some Cajun. Cajun is my favorite form of uh, folk music. Um... Even, I like Cajun even better than I do bluegrass, and I love bluegrass music, but uh, just love that Cajun sound. And, you know, what's really cool about the whole thing is that the Cajuns um, were Canadians who spoke um, French. Uh, they ended up living down in, in Maine, uh, around the Arcadia region, where we have uh, today's uh, Arcadia National Park region, and uh, living in around there. Um, just back when Maine was probably part of Canada. And um, the British came in, kicked the Canadians out, and kicked in, in the process, kicked all the Arcadians out. And they were called Arcadians. And uh, uh, they and he headed not south because there was a colony. Because Fran France had a colony down in uh, uh, Louisiana there. Um, and they were French-speaking people, so they headed out toward there. And um, ended up becoming the Cajun. The Cajun. And uh, so... I'm really fascinated with Cajun food, Cajun uh, music. To me, it is the ultimate um, upbeat folk music of all, even better than bluegrass. And I, I love that two-step uh, dance that they do there. That's pretty cool. Um, my favorite, of course, is uh, Doug Kershaw. I don't know if you've heard of Doug Kershaw, the Raging Cajun. But uh, glory to God, I'm going to see if I can just pick off a few tunes for these to say Merry Christmas to you guys up there and uh, well, fair field. I'm going to try to tune her up first and see what we got.
Happy and Merry Christmas, Patrick. I sure was happy to see you yesterday. I'm sorry that your wife and your baby couldn't come. Um, <clears throat> uh, Father Leo was quite a quite quite funny when he was sneezing there. When he just kind of did an exaggerated uh, backward uh, spring after he did the sneeze. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Father Leo, I love that guy. Um, He's been up here a few times. Uh, he brought a violin over here last week on Monday. Uh, I get this uh, text from him. Uh, Do you feel like company? I want I want uh, to show you Nina's uh, violin so you can try to play it. And I'm like, I thought, well, I thought you meant my my violin having a company of her violin. I didn't realize he was coming. But next thing you know, a knock comes to the door and looked out there and there's Father Leo with a violin case. I was like, oh, my Lord. Oh, it was great. And then he came in and said prayers. We we did, uh, I think we did um, Vespers, kind of a little Vesper prayer here in, at the uh, home altar. And so, wow, the blessings of the Lord, huh? Yeah, Merry Christmas, Patrick and Bridget and baby William. We love you here in Dexter. We love you. God bless.